y'all out here at uh, Detroit Autorama 2013 and uh, I got a little uh, 2012 Challenger but this company turns them into Super V's how cool is that man I couldn't walk by this um, but anyways let me run one of these guys down I'll have them tell us a little bit about it Jack how are you brother all right good good tell me uh this isn't from Mopar. You can't get that from Mopar, can you? No, it started that way, though. Yeah. Um, initially, it was a Mopar had given us an assignment. There was a, a, a former um, a guy at Mopar who gave us an assignment to, to see if we could make a Charger into a Superbird. And we said, well, geez, you know, it's a four-door. You really don't think it would be a very good car. No. So he says, we well, guys already have a two-door Charger. It's a Challenger. Right. So, so, we, so we said, well, we'll draw something up. I, we didn't, we really didn't give it that much of a, much hope. Right. We drew it up and said, you know, the proportions aren't horrible. I mean, it's it, it, it's it's doable. It's not hideous. Right. You know, so we we uh, so we drew it up. But the problem is, we brought all the drawings and all the stuff about about uh, two hours before Mopar filed for bankruptcy. Oh you know, no. Chrysler. So uh, we decided our, our ownership decided that we would go ahead and build the car ourselves. Wow. So, they so you did it without any help. From yeah. We, this, yeah. Is, this is like the twentieth, twentieth. So no kidding. Yeah. The prototype's been the prototype has been taken yeah. apart a couple of times. It's in storage. It's, it was really heavy. It was really because it was a prototype. Right, it right, right. It, it didn't take driving around really well. Right, I got it. This one here, we've got like 40,000 miles on it. We drive it. It's been on the power tour twice. Since, no kidding. Yeah, it's been... Uh, so what do y'all do? I mean, do you have, I mean, you have molds that you make this yeah, out? Yeah, we make our own tooling. We make our own, we make our own tooling. We make our own parts. We make everything in-house. We make the shaker hood. It's, this is based on the Mopar hood. Uh, with a, we make our own shaker ring. We make our own shaker bubble, which was sized to fit this car. It's it proportion. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And cool. it goes directly into the intake. It doesn't go to the air box. So this is a true. Yeah, it's a true. It's a true shaker. Wow. Um, then we make the front. Now this car is everything we make, and this thing is bolt on. We, everything can be removed. We can turn, we've turned these back into challengers. Oh no, kidding. That's all. We don't, so we don't if they wanted the to buy the kit, they could do that too. We can buy the kit. A lot of dealerships we send uh, to dealerships all over the country. We've sent. Uh, Ford to Richard Petty, he's built Ford already on, on over there at, at Petty's Garage. Right. And uh, we got another effective at Petty Blue in the shop right now. Cool. And so now the big question is everybody's going to want to know, and I hate to bust you out about a price. Oh, price is not the, the kit. If we send it to you, uh, just the nose look and the tail. Um, and it comes with a taillight overlays, it comes with a couple of other extras, is about seven grand. Okay. Depending on where you live, you create right, them up, right, send right. it to your door. If you want the optional shaker hood, everything else is a la carte. Right. And if we do it in the shop and we build the whole car in the shop, it's about it's like between sixteen and seventeen, depending upon. So you just bring a thirteen or twelve challenger to you. Challenger. Hey. Oh eight. No. New body style. Oh eight. No, we can't yeah. supercharge anything after eleven, though. Unfortunately. Okay. And this uh, one's still running the five seven in it. This is no. This is a, this is a six two, but it's six two. This was an SRT eight, but it's an o, it's an O ten, so we can supercharge them. Okay. And after all, this one supercharged. Yeah. How many horse are you getting out of that? They say uh, Magnuson says eight hundred fifty. No kidding. Can we see we, under the hood? Sure. We've had one of these. Our arrow works. It's actual real arrow. The arrow isn't just pretend. It's not just for looks. We've had one of these go two hundred four miles an hour in the Texas mile. No, no problem. kidding. We've been taking his hands off the wheel. Wow. So it works. The arrow's real. And what's the name of your company? Hida Performance Products. How do you spell that? H E I D E. Okay. Performance Products. Right, right. It's, it's HPP for short. Okay. Um, you, we have articles in Top Gear this year. I think it was February Top Gear. We'll be uh, we'll have advertising and. Uh, what about a website? That's the easiest way. HPPcars.com. And are you on Facebook? People can like you over we there. We have a Facebook and a Twitter account, but, okay. but uh, right now HPPcars.com. That's where our store is and all the information of the company. We make more than just this car. We make other. We make a Trans Am conversion on a modern Camaro too. Oh wow, cool. So uh, you got one of those coming? Uh, no, we only no. have a few. Small space. I got pictures. All right. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, show me under the hood if you don't mind. Man, that is cool, man. That is really cool. And those headlights, they pop up? No, they drop down. Drop down. This part of it drops down. As the, it senses the lights coming on and it drops down. I can, okay. I can make it pop. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, wow. And that's done with motors, not vacuum. It, no, it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, it's got a linear actuator. Wow. Oh, that's cool, man. Very cool. We'll probably be doing this all weekend long until the battery dies. Yeah. Well, I got here early. And it senses it senses the signal, so and we it don't goes back it, up. It goes back up, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Man, that's cool. I love the louvers and the fenders. And uh, 
we make the movers and the fenders. That's an aftermarket piece you can buy from us for, for anything we make. All, everything on this car, we, that's not stock we built. Right? We make in-house. Did you have to change this radiator? Of course. No, no, that's all stock there. We don't drill any holes in this car except for, for the wing. So all this stuff's literally bolt-on. It's literally a bolt-on. That's why they put us in the conservative hardtop because everything's a bolt-on. Except for, obviously we have to cut a hole in the fender. Right, for this. right, right. And then there's holes that you have to cut to mount the wings. Right. And what about these? I guess that's just a... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It's a panel. Oh, the ground they're, effects. They're, yeah, the yeah ground it effect. comes with the, the hole already in it. We have we have about three, three different versions of this. We have one that's got the strakes. They all have the strakes back here. Okay. We have one that does not have side exhaust, and you can use your stock turn signal. Uh -huh. Then we offer this one with the, with the actual functioning side exhaust, and then we give you these the small little round okay. turn signals. Same thing with the nose. If somebody wants to buy a nose and doesn't want to do the extra work of right. putting a turn signal in, we have a nose that incorporates a stock turn signal. Cool. And that wing. Y'all make that too. We have some samples here, back actually, we're going to show you to show uh, to show how well they're made. They're honey, they're aluminum honeycomb inside. Oh, they're made wow. of, they're, this is not fiberglass. This okay. is all um, epoxy resin. No kidding. Yeah, it's like a Corvette. Cheap. Yeah. And uh, and then inside there's foam in here as well as uh, aluminum honeycomb. There's a steel rod that, comes, that runs all the way across the top of this. We have it's braced down into the fender wells and into the quarter panel, so it doesn't. Wow, oh, y'all thought of it all. Quality built. The car's gonna last a long so, time. It's not just a custom car. No, we've driven. Yeah. We've had. I mean, we've had the one customer that that rigged that's gone. And that's done a lot of the high speed trials with this one. Right. We have customers all over the country that drive these every day. Wow. We've had some back that have taken. One guy did did a Dukes of Hazard with one of these. We've had it back already oh, once. Oh no, kidding. He's launched it. Wow. I love what you did with the taillights back here too. That's nice. We we offer a couple different all these. This one this one's you know Charger esque. Mm -hmm. And then we also do one that looks like a roadrunner, which we'll have on display here. Okay. We get our stuff set up. We make these all in-house, too. They're, they're all urethane. We make our own tooling. We make our own parts. Wow. And then the interior is pretty much stock. On this one, it is. We have one that's got carbon fiber door panels, carbon fiber console, and all that. We didn't... This one is owned by somebody, so we don't we don't own this one. Right. It's, it's owned by one of our board members. I got it. So uh, we didn't... He doesn't have all the, all the interior tricks in this because he drives it all the time. Right, right. But we do have one that's got carbon fiber door panels, carbon fiber console. We, we do make all that stuff in-house as well. We did all the carbon fiber work for the uh, uh, drag car, the drag tech car that Google Park did for SEMA last year. We did all their carbon fiber. Wow, interior. no kidding. We actually also make, which is an out here. That one's got a power tilt on it. I haven't seen that either. This is one of our products as well. I'm on this car. It's unfortunate this goes on a, goes on a customer car. But we make these, we make these actual eighth inch thick aluminum fully welded louver sets. Nice. We've had these have been on a car that went 200 miles an hour. They no kidding. Rattle, they go through the car wash. No kidding. You know, they make them for Camaros, we make them for Challengers, we soon we make them for quite a few other cars as well. Wow. We make these we make our own tooling, we make them in-house. Amazing man. I love what you did with this car. Thanks. Man, no problem. I'll send some people over to see you. I'm sure that this car Sure we've got a, we got a lot of product with us today because we make we make hidden headlight grills for stock challengers we make as well as uh, a lot. We make small skirt kits, not these big ones like in this one. We make a smaller skirt kit. We make uh, quite a few other accessory items for challengers. Cool. And for Camaro. Right? Can you do me one other favor? Sure. Help me set up to get. I know y'all are busy, and I hate to interrupt you. If I can get people just to back up to let me get a clear shot all the way around it. Hey guys, can you let the guy shoot the car for a second here? trying to be a pain. Oh, no, no, that's fine. But I know people are going to complain if We're I don't get them. We're here for publicity, not to win trophies. I'm <laughs> taking it to the world, so yeah, this should be a good way to do it. Yeah, shut it up for me if you don't mind. Look at that, man. Get y'all a good 360 of this thing. I just love this car, man. It just really caught my eye. 
Fellas, you rocked it, man. Thanks. Yeah, the Very are, cool. The Louvers are actually new project. We actually put those in this morning because we just those are oh, brand, really? those are brand new products. Yeah. I like them, man. I love those Louvers and Fenders. And I love the wing. I love everything about it. We'll and build I love you five of them if you want. Do I? We'll build you five of them. If I you bet like. you will. Yeah. Maybe if I can sell a hundred, you build me one for free. Tell them. You can tell them we I'll work for Richard Petty. There you go. Yeah. Cool. This has to stay on. Guys, again, thanks so much, man. Set. Mike, thank you, brother. Yep. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, yep. Have a good one. Yep. Folks, there you go. There's a uh, 2012 as close to a Super B as you will find. Detroit Autorama 2013. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.